can see like what I got going on in the background. But um, <clears throat> so today I'm gonna be doing passion twist on my best friend's hair. So if you follow me on social media, y'all know that I wanted to try some passion twists. So I put a post, uh, made a post and put it out there that I needed a model to do passion twist on and I would charge $45 for it. But I needed them to be ready because we're going to record it, obviously. So don't mind my window. I don't know who broke it, but I'm waiting on her. She's coming, coming over and we're going to run to the beauty supply store so we can go and get the hair and then I record it. But I just wanted to get on here and kind of like, you know, just give the rundown. So this will kind of be like vlog, but I'm not going to say a tutorial because um, I don't. I just watched a couple of videos, so I don't I technically know what I'm doing, but I don't want to just give a tutorial on something that I've never done. But I will record it, and it'll just be like, watch me do my best friend's hair. So yeah, this room is like really yellow. But, um, excuse my dirty mirror back there. I just try to get my life together. Um, but yeah, so the next time y'all will see me is probably in the beauty supply store. Hold it. Hey, I'm Cream. Um, Kristen's best friend. <laughs> well, one of them, her sister on the weekend, or Sundays. I'm her sister on Sundays. You know what I'm saying? Whole lot, whole lot of. We out here. Um, it's kind of hot. And she has the key, so. But this is my before. I'm about to get these twists and be passionate about it. Passion twist. Okay, so what's up guys? So here I'm starting out on my friend's hair and I just divided her hair into four sections. So I'm gonna pin up this uh, section of hair so it just won't be in the way. And I'm just tying it up with the hair tie. All right, so for this back section, what I'm making sure I'm doing is making sure it's detangled. And um, then I'm going to split this section into a smaller section. You could leave it this section, but um, I didn't want her braids to be that big, so. I'm just dividing the section into a smaller section and I'm going to pin this up with like a banana clip. So now that I have this uh, section out, I'm going to take some style booster and I'm going to take it along the part, well place it along the part of her hair. And what this does is allows me to um, go back through with the rat tail comb and create a seamless, um, even part. So I'm just going back through and dividing it again. And once I do that, I'm just going to detangle once again to make sure there's no tangles. So now that I've done that, I'm going to divide the hair into small sections in the back to start off her parts. And I'm just twisting it and then I'm going to tie her hair up in a rubber band. And um, make sure your rubber band is kind of tight because they will come loose. So I wrapped it around about five or six times and I just pulled to make sure they're tight. And so I'm going to continue to do this throughout the rest of her hair. And you can put gel um, or edge control within the parts to make sure your parts are even. Um, but I didn't want to load her hair down with it. So I just made sure I parted it. Um, so that it'll be seamless. So take your time in doing this. And you want your um, base of the hair to be also seamless and kind of just smooth. So that's what I was taking my time in doing. And then once again, just adding the rubber band and making sure that the twists are tight. Well, the section is tight, not the twist. 
And so this back section is going to have three braids. Um, and this part, I don't know why, but it was so therapeutic for me to do. Um, and like I said, I just took some edge control, as you can see here, to make sure her foundation is smooth and seamless. Um, and to make sure I can gather all of her hair out. And because she had fine hair, I needed to twist it at the root. So you also see me doing that as well. So now I'm just continuing to do this throughout her entire head. And make sure when you're parting the hair, you are brick layering the hair so that the braids won't fall on top of one another. They'll fill in those gaps that you might see or those parts. So just make sure that you brick layer the hair. Okay, so as you can see, I've twisted the hair and her hair is fully sectioned off. And now on to the fun part. Before we go f any further, her hair is moisturized already. But right here, I did go in and um, oil her scalp. Um, and I oiled it with Jamaican black castor oil, and tea tree oil, olive oil, and do grow hair oil. So right now, I'm taking some free trish water wave hair. And I said I used seven packs, but I only believe we used five packs in total. Look at the many faces of Cree. She is crazy. But, um... I took this hair and then I put her twist into a ponytail so they won't be in the way. Once again, the many faces of Cree. She's goofy. Mm -hmm. She said, hey, how y'all doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, drink a Sprite, whatever. Um, let's see what's going on next. Okay, so now she's going to take, I'm taking two strands of the Freetress hair. And as you can see, I'm just running my hands through it to give a fluffy look. The fluffier the hair, the chunkier the braid. And you don't want to leave it how it originally came in the pack because it's going to just look ugly. So make sure you fluff it out and use two packs and make sure the ends are kind of tapered look, looking. And so um, now what you're going to see me see me do is twist the hair at the root and um this is helping me to better place the hair onto the crochet hook and so right now i'm just making sure the hair is not tangled and then i'm going to place the hair on the hook i'm going to close the latch and pull the hair through so now here's where it gets tricky um you're going to open that loop and take one section of hair and pull that section through the loop this can get messy but it kind of it was easy right here and so now you just want to pull and that's what is going to keep the hair so i also pull the um split the client's hair into two and pull as well and then you're just going to twist downward and this is the fun part and so as you can see here that the twist is starting to look seamless but if you twist and let go and it unravels that means you're twisting in the wrong way but right here i knew because the twist looks seamless and looks uniform that means that i'm twisting in the right direction and later on in the video you'll see that i did unravel i let the hair unravel um and i noticed that i was twisting in the wrong way so i started twisting in the opposite direction and these twists were really long too, so it took me a while.
I done. And did you want you in there? Yes. I mean, it's what, whatever. We're about done. My camera set up is acting a little janky right now. But these are these passion twists. Um, yeah, we got done. So, I want to check in. Why are you looking like that? Because my arm hurt already. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm trying to make sure it's shaking. Alright guys, so here is the finished product. And it came out so cute. The only thing different is I would uh, focus next time on the ends. Because the ends did get a little fluffy, but... I did another set last night and I figured out what I could do different, but these came out so cute. It took us about four hours, but it was so worth it. She has about 30 to 40 braids in her hair. And yeah, so hope you guys liked it. Bye.